What's up, YouTube? Our blended chaos family. I'm Jennifer, and I just wanted to kind of put out, you know, as many videos as we can about just certain things in our lives. And today, I've just kind of decided. I kind of read some comments of our, you know, already of our other videos, and you know, people have just asked to, you know, maybe talk about certain subjects or. Um, you know pranks and things like that so because I'm by myself Charles is actually um, looking at a vehicle because he you know, kind of does that on the side and works on cars and you know things like that so he's actually probably right now also videotaping in which we will get that video later so this is what my topic today is um, I was reading through Facebook and I guess I will let you guys know that as far as like Facebook um, that's just going to be my own personal for my family and friends. Um, I will, you know, like you guys can um, add me on Instagram and Snapchat. Um, I do not have a Twitter account. Honestly, like the three of the social media sites between Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat is enough for me. <laughs> um, so I, at this point in time, do not have a Twitter. I don't even know if we will get a Twitter. Um, so I was kind of like reading over Facebook and you know there was just those little comments that come through or little you know from like news feeds and things like that and it was talking about bullying. So bullying kind of you know hits home for me um, just growing up I was an ugly duckling. I had really different hair um my teeth were messed up i was very chunky um so i didn't as far as like growing up it was pretty rough for me um i came from a like country town and everybody kind of knew everybody else so you know bullying for me you know kind of really hit home you know throughout my childhood um, up until sixth grade so kindergarten through sixth grade you know my parents like we moved quite a bit um, I would say between kindergarten and the sixth grade I had moved eight different schools so it was really hard to bond with people and make friends and you know that was one thing you know once I became you know pregnant with Bianca um, I was 21 20 when I became pregnant just turning 21 and had her you know when I was 21 um, I just decided at that point in time that I need to get it you know need to get established in the community that I was and you know that her being that she was the you know first baby that you know I didn't want them to have to switch schools so even though like throughout their years we kind of switched houses per se um, I always made sure that they were always in the same district to go to the exact same uh, uh, elementary go to the exact same middle school and go to the exact same high school so they were continuing to you know build friendships from kindergarten because some of them you know friends like they went through school from kindergarten to 12 so bullying for me um, really does again hit home because I was talked about a lot. I never was like physically abused when it comes to bullying, um, but definitely the verbal bullying, you know, the name calling, um, you know, people, you know, kids aren't very nice. Um, they see what's on the outside and they just expect to, you know, like they expect that person to kind of be exactly who you know like they are um, I kind of did some reading and you know as watching this and bleep really guys <laughs> anyways um, it states that there is quite a few like bullying cyberbullying is becoming a huge huge issue um thankfully you know my daughters never like they never came home and you know personally said like I'm being bullied or you know like 
I, you know, people hate me per se. You know, they were girls, so there was always that like drama and that like cattiness between like friends, and they'd come home and be like, oh my goodness, like I'm not friends with her anymore. You know, me and my best friend are friends, but the next day they would be. And I get all that, you know, they're young. Um, so, you know, thankfully, like our daughters, you know, were very beautiful. Um, they were personality wise, they were generally open. Um, I will say that, you know, out of all of them, the one that I can kind of remember, you know, and it wasn't really bullying, but like she, you know, kind of took it to offense as Christian. So obviously I'm Christian's mother. Um, my ex-husband, Ryan, is her father. He's black. Um, and she would come home and she would, you know, be kind of tearing up and she'd be like, mama, like, you know, everybody at school, like, doesn't believe I'm mixed. Like, they don't believe, you know, because Christian is so light. Like, Christian's very light. And, you know, she would come home and be like, my, you know, like, nobody believes me. Like, you know, my daddy's black. And, you know, like, that would hurt her because, like, she wanted to be, you know, like, she was. She was black and white. And um, so there was a time that she had to take a picture to school to show people, you know, like, this is my daddy. You know, so I would say that that's probably kind of what you know really stems out for me that's just kind of the things like you know kind of be careful like what you say to people and you know what you talk about and you know don't ever condemn somebody for like how they look or what they do you know you you may not know they may not have nothing at home their only meal may be the ones that they're getting in school um the clothes on their back may be the only clothes that they have you know the holes in their shoes it may be because that's all they have and they don't have means to get, you know, shoes and, you know, the name brand things and, you know, like that really hurts people, you know, we're all trying to, you know, go about this life um, the best possible way that we can. I feel that, you know, you know, talking about people per se, you know, we gotta just uplift everybody. You know, again, this world is crazy. The things that are happening, um, social media, just all around, you know, news and things like that. Like we are able to see things that happen when they happen and they're not always good. Um, so as far as like bullying, you know, just don't, don't bully anybody you know if you have you feel in some type of way about yourself then try to reach out to someone that you trust um that will help you in that process i learned over the years that you know like in my in my profession that i do um like i want to make everybody smile i want to give compliments and i try to you know uplift them and they may only get that smile out of their whole entire day like you know I just that's just what we all need to do um I feel that the bullying you know stems even deeper than just who that person is like we don't know where they came from we don't know what their you know personal life's about um just you know try to help each other out and you know try to uplift and you know you got an extra a hug or an extra smile smiling does not cost anything and by far it goes a long long way so i just feel that you know maybe we can just start just trying to make this a better world because this is the only world that we have this is the only life that we have um we're just borrowing this time like our time on earth is just borrowed time you know, we don't know what's going to happen in the world, so we just need to make the best of it. Um, there's a lot of chaos it's because once you kind of, you know, start feeling yourself, you expect that, you know, everybody else needs to start feeling you too, like, you know, making sure that you are right, you got this and that. Well, it's not all about that. Like, you know, you go to school for an education. Education goes a long, long way. Now, I'm not saying at the end, you know, by all means, I wanted all of my children to, you know, graduate high school and start college. But it doesn't always work like that. Just because that was our plan while the girls were, 
Growing up doesn't mean, obviously, that it's what it is. Um, Bianca's very successful, and I am so proud of her. Um, she went in avenues that I didn't even know existed. Um, Chanel, another one. She is successful. Um, she didn't go to college, but she's doing what she needs to do. She's getting on the grind. Um, Alexis hasn't, I mean, Alexis just graduated, so she's kind of still on the fence of exactly kind of what she wants to do in life. Um, Christian, again, and Jayla, they're both still in school and both plan to go to college and make a, you know, make a life for them. So the bullying, again, is, you know, I just want everybody to, you know, just remember to give a smile out, you know, hold your tongue on certain things. I know that there's times where I just want to say stuff and, you know, sometimes my mouth does run. And, you know, later, you can't take those words back. You can say you're sorry, but, you know, sometimes, you know, those, you know, hurtful words, like, get etched, you know, like, etched in your heart. Every time you say things, you know, it's taking away little pieces of your heart and that you know that that means a lot for younger ones even older ones so it just says bullying suicide um according to the cdc suicide is the third leading cause of death of youth ages between 10 and 24. it's a result of approximately 4400 lives lost each year deaths from deaths from youth suicide are only part of the problem more young people survive suicide attempts than actually die. Like 4,400 lives lost due to bullying. Due to someone else making you feel like you're worthless, um, making you feel like you're a nobody. And you know, like that's hard to swallow. Like that's hard to like swallow. Like people would take their lives because someone else was, you know, like talking about them, like, you know, we need to stop all that. So the other one that I was reading says, over 3.2 million students are victim of bullying each year. Approximately 160,000 teens skip school each day because of bullying. What? Like, really? Like, I was skipping school because I had a test that day and I didn't want to do it. Or I was skipping school because it was, you know, my senior year. I had all of my credits. It was the last semester and I just, you know, didn't go. So I guess that's called skipping school. But, you know, for people to actually, like, skip school just because of the bullying, because they don't want to be around um you know first if you are being bullied you know first is just try to um sorry everybody um i'm getting text messages from bianca bianca um if you're being bullied you know first talk to tell your parents um tell that person closest to you um that you feel like you can open up to and let them know what's going on if you don't have parents in the home um you know tell them first to tell a teacher you know if the teachers don't listen and it keeps on continuing then the parents or that person that you went to may have to get involved um just keep at it you know like it's not you are worthy and you don't deserve to be bullied and everybody may not know your story and you don't need to tell them your story so you know just keep pushing on just know that you know even though like you know i don't know you you know i love you and i we will be there for you um life is definitely better when you kind of just leave that negativity and you know, don't take it to heart. It's them. It's not you. Um, you know, keep striving for what you believe in and go for what you want. As far as the bullies, you know, not stop. <laughs> Just stop. Again, it ain't worth it. Um, 
figure something out within yourself as to why you feel like you need to you know down people or you know talk about people or you know like even if they have done something in the past or you know you just don't like what they're wearing you don't like the color of their skin go find people that you do you know leave them alone um it hurts it hurts a lot thankful for the support and love that we have already um we're going to continue to just do you know whatever whenever however and just make sure that you guys are a part of our lives so thank you so much make sure that you subscribe hit the notifications like comment what else on certain topics would you guys like to you know talk about um give me some ideas because i'm not saying that i know everything because i don't and i'm not perfect um i'm not a perfect woman I'm not a perfect wife, I'm not a perfect mother, I'm not a perfect daughter, but you know, I will strive to do the best that I can every single day. Um, so, you know, make sure that you get those comments and our uh, social media. So our social media is Instagram is Jen Randall 0413, J-E-N-N-R-A-N-D-L-E 0413. Our Snapchat is J.M. Randall, J-M-R-A-N-D-L-E. Make sure to add us and tell all your friends, share videos, just keep us uplifted and we in return will do the same. Spear fingers! <laughs>